Two, why do you like the single arm snatch yet dislike the single arm swing when the first part of the movement appears the same? Yeah, well, the, and Peter, this is just a personal thing, but what I see a lot of people do when they do, uh, especially those heavy high volume sets that were really popular a couple of years ago, and you'll notice they're not popular anymore, uh, is that you see a lot of people start to turn into a, a twist and throw, a twist and throw, instead of a good uh, hinge position. If I work with 100 people, uh, some will be able to do the one-handed swings. And that's great. The bulk of them can do the two-handed swings. So I always err on what most people can do most of the time. Now, if you're perfect, Peter, Peter perfect, uh, and, you can, and you can hold a quality hinge, you hold the chin, sternum, and zipper position on every single one-handed swing, you lock out, you touch at the top, uh, you know, and you have great alignment, good for you. We can do whatever you want. Most people won't do that. And of course, online, everyone's perfect. Uh, but in my experience, uh, no, not, a, not everybody is. Um, the single arm snatch uh, generally is also lighter. And if, uh, if you do over torque, We'll see it at the top of the lift, too, with that weird finish that a lot of people get, like they've been hit uh, by a hard wind or something. They'll turn away. It's my opinion, and it's, it's a good one. Uh,